Hey, how's it going, guys? It's Shut Door or Door Shutter coming back here with episode 55 of Direwolf 20's 1.19 mod pack. And today we are looking at a few things here. So quickly, I was trying to experiment around with this system to kind of make it better. I'm not 100 percent sure if I achieved said goal, uh, but it might work. Keyword might. So we actually have the ability to craft up a rune of air here. So I'm going to click next and click start. All right, everything should drop. Perfect. And we have this set to, for some reason, it's set to 700. That's not right. Let's see here. You are just not working, are you? There it goes. And then in a few seconds, this should fire. I could actually probably do every 25 seconds. Or every 25 ticks, maybe. I think that's out of range, isn't it? No? Alright, this was just an experiment. It wasn't something I was going to be like stuck on. So let's actually just get rid of all of it. All right. And then we're going to go here. We're actually just going to put one piece of sand in there. And now what we need to do is just put this back. Oop. Come on. Break this stupid thing. There we go. Just kind of looking. You know, that's fine. And then let's go here, do that. All right. So I've got snow going. This is actually all going into one ender chest, going into a drawer. All of the block breakers are placed. These actually don't need power. I was wrong last episode. Uh, but we have snow. It's automated. You can see it's breaking here. Um, the other thing that I worked on was getting wheat set up. So we have that set up over here. I need to actually configure this to the drawer here. So let's actually grab the link tool. And then link this to this. Perfect. And let's actually grab... Oh, we don't need an upgrade or anything, right? Because it's already set to 1,500. Uh, that's for cakes. So I think we should be good to plop all of these into the pattern terminal. But we'll see. Okay, so the more complicated one is Rune of Summer. Did I did I make a Rune of Summer? No, Rune of Winter. Let's go for that. Next, start. All right, so we're dropping. So the problem with this one... Nope, actually it wasn't a problem. Because we should have all of those runes returned. Uh, because there are basically... They never get used, right? That is how those work. Which is awesome. What is an engine? Red like roses. I don't know what in the world this flower is. But anyway. So that should be automated. We now can get a little bit more pattern stuff done. Because there's a few more runes that we still need. So we've got... Let's clear this out. So Rune of Wrath, which is this. Uh, don't forget Living Stone or Living Rock. So this one, we actually need to automate mana diamonds and mana ingots and mana powder. I know we still need to do that. So rune. So we've got water, fire, earth, air. Spring, we don't have. Summer, we do not have. Autumn, we do not have. Winter, we do not have. Mana, lust, gluttony, greed, sloth, wrath, envy, and pride. So all of these are stuff we need to make. Let's quickly... Living. I don't know why I put it back in the system. I only need one. Let's get rid of some of this other stuff real quick here. Alright, so... There's that one, so we can mark that off.
There's that one. I'm just continuously going to forget about putting that on there, but that's okay. All right, so Rune of Envy. We actually did that one twice, didn't we? So get rid of that. Rune of Wrath. Rune of Sloth. These are all going to require mana diamonds per each one, so that's pretty awesome. It's going to be a lot of mana diamonds. All right, so let's just move this stuff out of the way. So that was Greed. So Gluttony. Oop, I just got rid of Lust. That was the one I just clicked on, right? Yes. All right. So there's that one. Rune of Mana. Just make sure these all have Living Rock listed as the last ingredient. Perfect. Rune of Winter. We've already done the Rune of Winter. So I guess I accidentally clicked that one. All right, so leaves or vines, huh? We have vines. I'm assuming vines would work. So let's try vines. And we'll just, we'll send this recipe through while we're watching it. Okay. So just two of those, spider eye, and everything else we should have. All right, summer. Uh, we don't have melons or slime balls automated, but we'll be fine for right now. And rune of spring, which is perfect. Also, I did forget this on the last one, didn't I? Last few. I just, I don't know why I keep forgetting it. Like, I know I need to do it. I just kind of forget. But that's okay. We will fix it. Okay, everything else should be good. So now let's go to the Batania up here. And let's drop all of these patterns into here. And see, this was a perfect thing to get. All right, so the one I wanted to test was which one? The vine one. So pattern, or so rune. Which was rune of autumn? Yes, rune of autumn. Start. Okay, vines do not work. Right, that's the recipe. Okay, so we need some other sort of leaves. All right, so is there a way to make leaves? You could duplicate them through the conjuration catalyst, which we haven't actually looked at the catalyst stuff before. Um, you know what? Let's, let's do that. Let's. Hmm. I think this mana pool for right now could be the conjuration catalyst, but we'll need a mana pearl. So it means we need an ender pearl. Okay. And then conjuration. All right, so we've got the alchemy one. If you don't know what these do, you place them under a mana pool and they can give you certain things. So for example, blaze rods to nether wart, uh, book and quill to name tag. And these all do cost mana, of course. So cactus to slime balls. Uh, you could automate some stuff with this genuinely. Like it's not hard. It's actually quite interesting what you can do with these. Lily pad to vines. Spoiled potatoes back to normal potatoes, rotten flesh to leather, but the conjuration allows you to kind of duplicate with mana, right? So you've got one coal to two coal, so you get a one per, right? Um, so let's see here. Alchemy catalyst. We need to then make this into this, which needs more mana steel. One, two. Oh, I don't have this activated. Let's reactivate this real quick. 
perfect. Okay. One, two. All right. And we're just going to simply put this under this mana pool. You can see that this actually is visible through the top, which is actually pretty cool. That's kind of trippy. Anyway, it's, you can actually kind of see through it. That is weird. Like, see through the block below it. Hmm. All right. And if we put some mana in here by just blowing this piece of TNT up. You can see we'll get some mana in here. And we should be able to kind of set up some sort of system to do this. I would think we need to have... Um, like a, an open block or something to just drop and then an item collector to pick up. But I think for now, we're not going to really just automate this. We're just going to grab some oak leaves and then toss them in here to get double. Let's just toss all of them. Okay. Of course, light this off. So our end goal here is to get more intrapeniums made up. And it's not like it's going to be hard to, like, get more leaves if we run out for any reason. I can just go harvest some with shears or something. All right, so this one. All right, so we just need two of these. Confirm. And then back up to the top. We're going to take out this one and actually just keep both of them because I forgot to put living stone in this. I need to get a uh, wireless pattern terminal, but I still have not done that. Actually, no, this one is right. So this is the wrong one. All right, so let's just clear this pattern and toss that back in there. Perfect. So that should be a rune of autumn. But we do need to... That's pretty funny. I didn't even know there was a hole there. Come down here and cancel that. Go to the Batania room. And we should now be able to craft a Rune of Autumn. If we put my oak leaves in here. So Autumn. Start next. I just want to make sure that this crafts. And you just caused an issue. You did, you did, huh? I wish there was like a redstone upgrade. Because if there's a redstone upgrade, do we have something like that? At sophisticated. Redstone? No? Hmm. Okay. And then, like, an item collector can't do this either, right? So an item collector. You can't be based off of redstone, can you? No, you have no redstone capability. Um, so the vacuum later is literally the only thing we have available for this. So if I plop this down, just right here for a second, and I turn on Engineer's Vision. Okay, so that's a decent area, but it's still not close enough, right? It needs to basically be on this level. Okay. And if we actually grab an hourglass, actually, I want to move this over one. We're just trying to solve problems here, right? So vacuum later. And we gave this an hourglass. All right. And we gave this a uh, red sand. Do I have any red sand? I do. 
So if I gave this three pieces of red sand, so this fired every, you know, what is that, 12 seconds? Uh, maybe not that much red sand. See, and that should be enough time to do that. But I think the other problem really is that we won't we don't have a way to until redstone pulse is received with redstone signal without redstone signal okay there's no way to say hey output a redstone signal with these right so pattern i thought the pattern encoder Am I wrong about that? I thought this pattern encoder allowed you to do that. No, okay. All right. I mean, this is kind of the only option that I think I can think of. But then again, though, is if this is actually operating and this turns on for a second. You know, that's going to be a problem. Let me be right back. So I've kind of just been looking around how to make this better. And I think I've got something. So you can see here that, that when it was crafting, it gave one. But now that it has two pieces, right? So basically what this means is that the signal strength is two whenever it's done crafting, one when it's not, right? So with this information, what we can actually do is actually grab a vacuum later. Right? And a repeater, just so we have enough signal strength. We should be able to put that there, put this here on high, and just blacklist living rock. Right? Okay? So take this, do item filter, the nihilist here, there. Okay, we don't need that much range, right? We now, since it's right next to it, we shouldn't need really any range. Yeah, this is a perfect little amount of space. But we need to deny, actually, I guess we want to kind of keep the runes. But remember, this is going to be off. Um, because if we do this, and of course, if we smack it, if we do this and we smack it, I need to not be as close to that, so let's turn this off. Let's try that one more time. So, nether wart, nether brick. And then gunpowder. We're going to have just a whole bunch of fire runes. I hope you know that. Like, I've been just using anything to make fire runes for some reason. But that's okay. Alright, so this is off. One, two, three, four, five. You can see we got one. We should have two. We have that. And then if I put a piece of sand in here, that's not a piece of sand. Where's my sand? Right there. If I put a piece of sand in here and I drop a piece of living rock right there, boom. Okay, so here's the issue. That just immediately turns off. Okay. So, how do we solve that? Give it a delay, maybe? Let's go with a mana rune. Instead of just making the same rune over and over again. Okay. Okay. So this, one, two, three, four, five. Living rock, drop. Yeah, that just shuts off too quickly. Um, I wish we had just like something to create delay. I don't know why we don't. That is the stupidest thing. 
Like, you have this, but that's not really what I need. Hmm. Like, I just want to make this better, and I don't know if I'm even accomplishing that. Because at the end of the day, this is kind of just being pointless, apparently. Yeah, see? It's not even on the ground by the time it needs it. Hmm. Alright, so we're going to give this a try. Not 100% sure if this will work, but we'll see. We're going to go with 8 seconds. And the reason we're going to do this is because we are going to attempt to see if I can set up some sort of timing system to create this. All right, so let's toss that. So... No, we don't want it in reverse. Okay. So let's get this actually set back up. So ME pattern. Uh, ME wireless real quick. So this thing here. We're going to set this here. Uh, then we're going to set a pattern provider on top of it. All my patterns are in my bag, by the way, right now. So that's where those are. And we're going to grab a barrel. Right? Put the barrel right here. And then an at... Uh, let's just go for a hopper. No, we don't need anything real fancy here. All right, and then we're going to grab an interface. And we're going to then grab an entangled block. Actually, you know what? Just item pipes. Who cares? I don't even care. It might look a little ugly, but it'll be fine. If it works, it works, right? Not even 100% sure that this will work. Alright, so let's go with something simple. Winter. Let's try that one. Alright. We're going to stand back here. We're going to look at Winter Rune. Take these out. Next, start. Okay. Okay, that is way too long of a time. Okay, yeah, and that became an issue. Okay. So let's try that again. Let's go with one sec. Let's go two seconds. There. There. Pick it up. Come on. There we go. Okay, so let's actually just give this one second. And you can see that this Runic Altar actually has a cooldown, by the way. I don't know if you noticed that. But every time there's like smoke particles, just like the uh, in the uh, endo flames, not the endo flames, the thermal lilies we use, there is a cooldown on the actual runic altar. So tossing several uh, of these actually will not work. All right, so let's actually test that. So we got rune of water being requested for the rune of winter. Right, there's nothing in the altar. Rune of winter start. Okay, boom, wait a second, it picks it all up. Okay, so this is actually working, but I'm going to cut this down just a little bit more. I think 18 ticks, so a little bit under a second. Let's actually make sure we get rid of that. Because I just voided the sand out of that, didn't I? Not voided it, but you know. Alright, so one piece, there we go. I think this should work better. 
The only way we'll actually know is if we start testing with more complex patterns. So let's go for that. So if we, we got them all. No, we're missing one. I thought we were. All right, so let's see, rune. Let's go rune of pride, start. Rune of spring, start. Okay, yeah, you're gonna be an issue, aren't you? All right, so we've got one more issue to solve, which is stopping the hopper. Is that going to be that hard? Absolutely not. Um, I think all we'll need to do is... Let me think here. I should be able to do at laser IO with this. Right? Just put this here. No, it's not, it's not going to force it. Uh, actually, if I do this... We should be able to force it. Right? That should, like, travel. And if we grab a redstone thing for input, and we put a redstone one here, so at laser, we'll put that there. This here, redstone output strong. But I don't know if that's exactly what we want. I don't think so. Hold on. Until primary crafting result is returned. Actually, we might not even need this. But that might be an issue because if we, for example, get um, like a rune of winter from something else that we're trying to craft like multiple, that might not work. Hmm. Until redstone signal is received, huh? Well, actually, let's grab another pulse. Pulse repeater. And let's try something here. So I want to grab this redstone pen, pulse repeater, so you're 18. So if we do at a second, and we grab, this is going to look ugly by the way, I can understand that, it's okay, we're going to live with it. There's definitely simpler ways to do this. There's definitely a lot of tutorials out there. I'm just kind of messing around, trying to figure out my own way of doing this. And it's not really working out the best, but, you know. You live and you learn. And I think I've learned to never try this again. Alright, so... Uh, until Redstone Pulse is received. Okay. So now, if I do, let's actually go cancel some of these things down at the base. I'm sorry this is kind of like a repeat of last episode. Um, I really wasn't trying to do that, but, you know, things happen. And I figured this was going to be an issue. I just didn't want to fix it, and then I was forced to fix it. So, all right, Rune of Spring, start. Rune of Autumn, start. Okay. That should, in theory, work. Hopefully. Okay, what are you missing? You're missing something in your recipe. Which one was that? Because I have no idea what you were missing. What was that one?
That was the Rune of Autumn. So we've got something wrong with the Rune of Autumn. All right, Batania. Rune of Autumn. Why are you still giving me issues, Rune of Autumn? All right, Rune of Autumn, recipe, this. It's because it's three, not two. But maybe I only want two. I'm kidding. All right. So let's actually toss this in here. All right, so now let's test this. Let's throw some of this stuff away here. I don't even know what I just threw away. Uh, that, that. No idea. Anyway, let's try this. Rune, let's go for Rune of Wrath, uh, Rune of Autumn, Rune of Greed. So we got three runes cycling, right? So we pick them all up. Okay, you saw that? There was an issue. And that stopped one of these being crafted, which is Rune of Greed. Hmm. All right. We're going to just leave that there for now. Um, we're going to have problems with it. I know that. Uh, I don't 100% know how to fix this. There are simpler automations out there with refined storage. I know refined storage is pretty good with this. I've done that before, but I've never done it with AE2. And I guess it's just not going to work that well. So we're going to try real quick before I end. Well, I guess I couldn't just like send a whole bunch because I'm out of diamonds. Uh, mana diamonds at least. But I think there's just some issue where the redstone signal was like there too long. So let's just do with redstone signal. That might fix it. Uh, but the next episode, we're going to get the mana pool, mana diamonds, mana ingots, all that stuff automated. And maybe look into automating some of the stuff here. And I will be back with you guys next episode. So sorry for all of the kind of confusion and back and forth in this episode. Uh, one minute I'm trying to autom fix the automation of the runic altar. The next I'm doing like some catalyst and then back to the runic altar. Super sorry about that. But hopefully next episode, it will be a little bit more concise. And I'm hoping that we can actually get a few more things done with Batania. Stay awesome. Hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.